Man, I started to cool that in, in the mix of the pandemic, you know, a time where uncertainty and social injustice was, was at a crossroad like we've never seen it before. We lost Kobe. Then we had the murder of George Floyd and murder of Breonna Taylor. And for me, there was a lot coming at me at one time and, and I didn't really know what to do, to be honest. Just being locked up in the house and trying to still be that conscious person in the house for my, for my daughter and my wife at the time. And uh, God gave me this idea, to be honest, he gave me this idea to take fatherhood and leave with it. And so I, I, I raised to, to the occasion, I said, all right, cool, that was birthed in that mix. You know, sometimes they say it takes tragic moments to, you know, see the beauty of something else being birthed. And so cool that was birthed out of a time where it was it was a need for it. And as we've been on this journey through fatherhood and amplifying fatherhood and keeping the conversation alive, I've seen a lot of negative stigmas associated around men of color, fathers, and we get to be the leader that kind of leads in that direction of making sure that they're seen, they're heard, they're understood. You know, in Houston, Texas, where you know where, where we're based out, I think we have a lot of grounds to cover. I mean, we've done a great um, job of really amplifying our awareness. Programs like our Cool Kids Summer Camp, um, but we, there's still a lot of work to be done with kind of letting fathers know that this community is here for them. If you think about it, there's a father at the helm of everything. And so we have the ability to connect on a level that has not really been touched. We have continued to be consistent and persistent on ensuring that we build a space that is welcoming to families, not just fathers alone, but to families. And now our Cool Kids program was birthed out of that consistency. It's inspiring because I've really not had this before. I've been to camps, but it's not like this type of camp where it's educational and fun. And I like how they can make the educational stuff, but it's still fun. I learned about content creating, editing, assets, bank accounts, and all the stuff that I would use in my future. Shout out to Hoka for coming through and being our partner and powering the Cool Kids program. It was so imperative to find the right partner for this program because these kids deserve excellence. We were very intentional on the facilitators, the keynotes. When I think about partnerships, I think about the ones that are really practicing what they're preaching. A partner like Hoka was a slam dunk. What we have done is ensure that there's representation, there's a community, there's a place that people know they belong to. And that's what we're doing here at Cool Dad.